The Uganda National Council for Science and Technology, mandated to support and regulate scientific research, technological innovations, and product commercialization, is now handling more research proposals than ever before. And the number of research proposals have uh, increased, and uh, before we used to have like around 80 or 90 per year, but now we are moving to the level of about uh, 700, 800 uh, per year. And not only has there been an increase in the number, but also in the, in the complexity of the work that needs uh, to, be, to be done. In response to this development, the Uganda National Council for Science and Technology, along with the Uganda National Health Research Organization, the National Drug Authority, the University of Oslo in Norway, and Juma University in Ethiopia, is implementing the Access to Africa project. This initiative aims to strengthen research regulatory systems by addressing delays in regulatory and ethical review processes. Research is mainly uh, on drug uh, development, uh, getting in uh, new drugs. As you know, there are new and emerging uh, diseases. There is need to develop uh, better methods for treatment and also need to come with better uh, systems for diagnosing uh, diseases. So especially in the health research, these are the core areas. Professor Rosemary Barnabe, coordinator of the Access to Africa project from the University of Oslo, emphasized the importance of building relationships within the Eastern Africa Consortium for Clinical Research. She also highlighted the value of learning from the Forum for Ethics Review Committees in the Asian and Western Pacific regions to enhance research in sub-Saharan Africa. So Access Africa 2 is, um, uh, is a project uh, that, that deals with not only strengthening capacities but also understanding gaps of when were regulatory and ethics review capacities um, overlap or maybe, there, uh, or maybe there's a gap in there. So it's it's all about understand it's it's all about understanding where the gaps are, and um, doing things to ensure that we can contribute, you know, not only to addressing the gaps but also promoting um, a regulatory and ethics environment uh, when it comes to uh, human studies such as clinical trials um, in, uh, in 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 Uganda and in Ethiopia. Representatives from Uganda's research regulatory agencies stressed the importance of continued collaboration to ensure research safety, transparency and accountability. 